Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3, a part 142. In the previous video, we defeated, uh, or we finished up Lecter's mission down in the sewers. We also learned that I was correct in my interpretation of that random tombstone that Lecter's dad was one of the people behind, uh... The, the Pamel Massacre in Hundred Days War. Now, they didn't quite say he was actually, like, the mastermind, per se, right? It was just that he was a guy who was in on it, I, I believe. I will admit, because I was, you know, playing up my excitement over it, uh, I didn't fully catch, because he just said he was the leader of the 13th Brigade. Okay, okay, let's put past this. Take this thing down. Okay, God, we went way too far. Way too far. Alright. Way too far. <laughs> way too far. Okay, Brigadier General. My head was the dad. What? My head was the dad. My dad was head of the 13th Armored Division. Part of the group of nobles that planned the atrocity. So, we don't... I mean, it didn't necessarily say he was, like, the mastermind, but... He was definitely on the higher up level of it, of the whole plot. Now, he did also give us the hint that there's some shit going down on the highway. Now, a few things to do. First things first, get up camp, get some CP. This is not the field exercise camp, I've been lied to. Also, there's something going on over there. That's maybe our fishing thing? Possibly? You guys say anything? Thor's Branch Champions, I've heard of your reputation. I expect to hear great things about your future achievements too. Well, you could hear great things about our current achievements if you were in the know. Our achievements are so cool you can't even hear about them because you're not a uh, high enough classification level. One of these days you'll learn about the tale of Elliot the Brave and his eternal friendship with Reen. You guys say anything new? I mean, I assume no, but... Had you and I been at Thor's at the same time, Schwarzer? Uh... <laughs> Young Aurelia? That'd be kind of interesting. <sighs> I feel like she'd kind of be like Laura, but maybe more interesting. <sighs> maybe? Well, I mean, she's not like a super complex character. I mean, she's kind of just like a, like a fight junkie. Um... I do kind of feel like of the, like... Omega tier strong characters. I guess she's the most fleshed out because she is one of the only few like Super strong canon characters that you actually get to like see fight Of like at least on like the good guy side Right because I mean who are like the Omega tier characters, right? There's uh, I mean Muller's dad curtain Muller's dad probably I mean, Cassius, you never actually get to see fight, really. Other than, like, when you fight him in Sky 3. But even then, Cassius kind of comes from, like... He's he's weird, because he was the strongest in the universe, but he has since been fucking passed by now that everyone's got anime superpowers. I mean, not everyone, but a lot of the characters have anime superpowers. Which was, uh... I mean, it was a thing in the Sky games. So I mean, you have Kevin, who has anime superpowers, but... Not as many characters had them back then. What am I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna walk over this thing. Can I bike? Let's get going. Rain rides alone. Is this the fishing people? It is. Oh, Freddy. Oh yeah, we haven't seen you, Freddy. And now without further ado, at the second half of the fishing match between the Imperial Fishing Club and the Fisherman's Guild commence. So far the scores are. What? Who in the world are you? And why are you interrupting me? Uh, so sorry. Oh, but it's a rain, so you're here too. Yeah, the legendary fisher is logged online. Oh, you handled Fisher's Painting as well? But now things are getting interesting. Oh, seems like there's quite a few people I know here. So you are the Ashen Chevalier. I hear you're both in the Imperial Fishing Club and the Fisherman's Guild. Well, I mean, I've technically never actually officially belonged to either. I definitely know people from both sides. Ah, oh, it is what it is. Dad, why don't I have Reen help the fisherman's guild out? I beg your pardon? 
Though it is certainly true that it's come a one side of the fair. Oh, sorry, we're utterly helpless. What seems to be the trouble? Well, you see, the fish that the branch chief and I ate last night was infested with parasites. It's been treated, but you must understand, we're completely wiped out now. Thanks to the debacle, our two expert anglers can only watch from the sidelines. And now at the halfway mark, they have a nearly insurmountable lead on its not insurmountable terrain. I see. So how about it, Lord L Lake Lord? I think allowing this might make things a little more interesting. Hmm, indeed. You know, the defeats seem to wet the wild, but where's the fun if there's no competition? As Kenneth has proposed, I shall allow a helper. Phew. How gracious is the president of the Lake Lore Company? Well, looks like things are gonna get interesting. They just went ahead and decided all this for me. I didn't say a word. Well, alright then. What should I do? Ah, uh, yes. We're not much time to spare, so... Why don't you aim for Hostius Guardian? Yeah, just just aim for the fucking legendary fish. Uh, Ostia's Guardian? Correct, this competition is point-based. Ostia's Guardian, also known as the Emperor Perch, is the most points assigned to it. As such, if you reeled in one of those fish was guild, have a fighting chance. I see that sounds pretty simple. Uh, when was the last time this fish was caught? Never. We're not even entirely sure it exists. It's only spoken of in records. Black records. Alongside the dra Dark Dragon. A beast that even it feared. The, the dragon feared the fish. I kind of phrased that poorly, but uh, sometimes the bits they don't you're not they don't come fully formed. You're just like doing them off the cuff. Simple. Are you even uh, skilled enough to catch one? Can I take a look at your fishing book. Yeah, sure. Looks like you have caught twenty four types of fish. You're more than skilled enough. Fish away. Th thanks. Looks like that's all coming together. All right, best of luck. <laughs> Might be on the same team, and I won't lose to you, Instructorine. Hope you don't have an accident. <laughs> uh, bring it on. How to catch Ossia's Guardian? I don't know, fucking fish, dude. In order to catch the Guardian, you must make Green the main character. Oh, uh, well, that's a deal breaker. You'll need to have at least 24 types of fish caught. And? <laughs> what, about, what about the rest? What about the rest? Okay, Freddy, I'm not one to tell you how to hunt your prey, considering you're professional and all, but how you gonna how you gonna spear the fish from up here? As long as you don't enter the lake, anything's allowed according to the tournament rules. The second that guardian rears its scales, I'll pierce it with my spear. Uh, it kind of feels like he's completing in a totally different event. What can I get you today? Okay, um. See, see ya, Freddy. Uh, nice talking to you. Uh, uh. Ah, give it a try. What can I get you today? Isn't that cheating? Like, if I give you, what if I, if I sell you the Emperor Perch? Don't you just like turn it in and then you win? Can I please have a shell? No. Okay. okay well, <laughs> Come again. All right. Just as Reen's about to reel in the Guardian, he's gonna feel a sharp piercing and piercing pain in his back, and it's Freddy with the trident in the library. I'm glad they accepted you as a helper. I know for a fact you have the skill to catch the Guardian. Don't get too into your own head. Just enjoy yourself. Well, it is summer festival. I can just think of this as one of the attractions. And also, isn't it kind of weird that all the fish you have to catch at the end of these games is called the Guardian? What are they guarding? The chairman seems completely uninterested in me as a competitor. In this tournament's a little forced, I suppose not too enthusiastic about it all. But I'm sure things get more lively if you join, Reen. Sure thing. Thanks. Uh, guess I'll give it my best shot. Some might even say you should give it everything you've got. Good God, us both Sir Dan and Capan dropped out of the competition. I'm a professional, but I can't lead Freddy and Salem to victory all on my own. I appreciate your help in all this. I'll fish eventually. Don't, don't, don't push me. How frustrating. I won't be able to compete because of this stupid mistake. Four kingfishers may not be here, but those anglers are team of more than enough talent as it is. I know of Kenneth's fishing technique, but the way Lord Lake Lord builds, reels his what, what? Let's try this again. The way Lord Lake Lord wields his rod is just, uh, not to mention that lady angler. She's got goddess-given talent. 
We need to do our best, Rain. Yeah, thanks. I'll do my best. Sorry, Rain, for asking you for your help on such short notice. If you're able to reel an Osteos Guardian, we may still have a shot at making a comeback. Guess I'm part of the team now. May as well go give it a go. I finally made my fish tournament debut, but everyone around me is so amazing. My skill set doesn't even come close. Still, points I've had over, t over time, that's why I'm going to take it one fish at a time, with none other than my fishing rod bestowed upon me by Lork Lake Lord the Third. Can I get some points for that? That was pretty cool. No? Actually, I've tied the Imperial Fishing Club. It's all in a neutral position. It's only natural when you take the role of referee. I expect this would happen. You know, no choice to catch the Emperor Perch if you want to close this gap. Good luck, Instructor. It's apparent from your demeanor you certainly have the credentials by all means. However, it's not even going to decide that I get the fish first. I won't lose to you. Okay. Alright, one cast. That's this all it takes. This might be a good spot for fishing. Eight leaves, one pole. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. That's it? That's how big you are? Oh. We got an achievement. Wow, this is a rare one. Call it mystery fish. Unbelievable! I can't believe you really caught Osteo's Guardian. And after like 20 seconds, what the fuck, man? Wow, pretty impressive, Rain. I kind of feel bad in a way. Don't sweat it, you caught it, be proud. The way you handled that rod was incomparable. Since you caught Osteo's Guardian, you're now a certified expert angler. I feel like I've, I feel like you've probably heard this sentence before. You're what we in the fishing sphere called a platinum angler. That was truly amazing. Ah, just what I expect from instructor Rain. And now the scores are pretty much tied. Thanks to the instructor, things are really starting to pick up. Now this is more like it. That fish you caught is a legendary rare species. So you can make an exceptional prize if traded in. You need to visit our headquarters. That's that Freddy child over there for more details. Uh, thank you. That's it? I mean, did you guys win? Great fishing out there, Reen. It's even got everyone all fired up now. I'm really got me in the mood to do some fishing myself. Come back and guess another line with us when you have the time. We'll do. I'll let you know when I'm ready to fish. Anytime, Rain. Literally. I have uh, no obligations. Oh, I was trying to catch the Guardian too. Well done, Rain. The battle has only begun. Now I'm going to go after the Deep Groupers and Mega Arowanas to get points. Typical Annabelle. She's not easily discouraged. There. Can I catch another one? Got a bite. Nope. This is promising. Thunderini? It's a whopper. It is a whopper. Not as big as Altina's. Bravo, that was splendid. See, in action has me all fired up. Wow, I'm so excited. Maybe it's time I try catching bigger fish. I feel like I've gotten better already just from watching all these amazing contestants. It's my turn now. All right. If nothing else, you can like swing it back and like hook one of them in the eye and then pretend it was an accident, but we all know it wasn't really an accident. I can't believe Osteos Guardian was wielded by someone done other than me. Hmm, I suppose this means you need to try hard. I feel there's of course no option for anyone bearing the Lake Lord name. Blast the Fisherman's Guild, just you wait and see. We're pretty much neck and neck now. Things are turning out quite interesting thanks to you, Instructor. I'm a Lake too, of course. Time has been set for this evening. Ha ha ha! Fight's only just begun. Well, I mean, if they're only just now tied because of Reen giving them, you know, the biggest MacGuffin worth of points possible. Won't they just naturally pull ahead again? Right? Because, like, if, you know, the rate of points was so slow that the Fisherman's Guild or the Imperial Fishing Club had achieved such a high lead in the first place that they needed that Hail Mary, and the Hail Mary has only gotten them even, over time, it would, uh, of course, lead to uh, it being a stomp again. So the Divine Angler of Erebone has been chosen. I have another rival now. But thanks? I don't know what's going on, but I guess it should be honored. The Divine Angler? Good job, you sure are Old Man Rod's disciple. Who? Huh? Old Man Rod, man who, uh, may only come second to the Fishing Baron himself. Ever since you caught his eye, I knew you turned off special. Keep up the good work, Reen. I got no idea what's going on. Fishing Baron? Is the Fishing Baron the dude that Estelle beats up in, uh, the side story? 
I don't know why that's on my mind. I actually kind of skimmed through that video. I mean, it's probably been like a month ago. I don't remember why. And I do remember the name Fishing Baron sticking out. I think that's the third dude you fight. The dude who uh, <laughs> fucking cheats and gets a big ass fucking Marlin on the last turn every single time. Asshole. I like to taste the Guardian for myself while it's reserved for the winner. <laughs> I don't plan on eating anyway, but thanks. So you said I could trade in, in somewhere else, right? Because I'm not super enthused with Freddy's prize. Can I read the description of the fish? A large fish covered in vermilion and gold scales with an air of royalty about it. Dubbed the Emperor Perch for the Emperor himself some generations ago. I think it's the same fish? I mean, some fish do live a long fucking time. It could be the same fish. Oh, you both just give the same thing? I thought it was maybe different. Uh, rewards? Well, I'm gonna give it to Freddy. Just so that he doesn't stab me, mainly. <laughs> You've got good taste. <laughs> Come again. All right, Freddy. You've been appeased. Don't don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please. All right, let's go. Take me to the cemetery. Yeah. Oh, somebody's out there. Okay, we'll probably be careful not to get in any fights while uh, Rini's uh, alone. I could I could see that uh, ending poorly. Hmm, sure it's getting late. I shouldn't rush him. Guess I can't hurt to wait a little longer. In Lynn. I can't think of what that's supposed to be. Because, I mean, so far, the two licenses that we've seen have correspond to the city they came from. You know, uses his Bray Hard and one other one. I can't remember. Oh, could it be, is you think it's going to be the governor visiting his niece's grave? Yep. Like I said, they do draw attention to that. I thought that was so cool that you could, do, you know, uh, just find it normally. But there is at least a little bit of uh, pointing towards it. Because that does seem kind of like, you know, if you put the effort of putting a special tombstone there, you would think you might want to point people towards it. But I am really glad I found that uh, on my own. That was a really cool moment. Because it didn't even have like the interaction plaque like some of the uh, Zero and Azure graves did. Hello there, Rain. Governor, what are you doing here? Someone you know buried here, perhaps? Yes, my kids may have told you the story, but it's my niece. I suppose it was about eight years ago. Where does the time go? Those flowers are from Machias? Yes, most likely. I also was like a sister to him. He was essentially my daughter too. I remember the anger that took hold of me when she died. It was enough to spur me to join the reformers faction and work towards wiping City Hall clean of nobles. Governor. But anger fades with time, as does sorrow. And now I'm left asking myself if what I did in my anger was the right thing. The way the reformers have been heading, the direction this company is being steered, this country? Is it, sir? My apologies. I suppose I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm proud of what Machius and the rest of you are doing to help this country. As a member of the Reformists, I'll be watching you from here on. And cheering you on from the shadows. Thank you, sir. But maybe you should tell Machius this, too. You're right, I should. It's a little embarrassing to talk about this sort of thing with him, though. I assume both of you will be attending the party in the palace this evening. I hope you both have an enjoyable summer festival. Thank you. I hope this party the evening... I hope the, your part, your own party this evening goes well. That's a really nice scene. You need to go prepare for tonight, so I'll be heading back soon. Hope you enjoy the summer festival, Rain. That's a, that's a nice little... Bit of insight, because I do... I've been kind of interested to see... Uh, to what degree Machius' dad was going to be involved in, like, Osborne's shit, but it seems like he was kind of, not necessarily used, per se, uh, that, I mean, he was, they were kind of on the same side at first in terms of, uh, 
you know, weakening the power of the nobles, because he was kind of driven by his own personal sense of loss. That's, that's interesting. But he's kind of, you know, realizing that maybe uh, the way they're headed isn't the way he originally wanted to. Hello, kitty. Hey, guess what? Grandpa said I could help him clean. <laughs> I'm happy because I always thought I was annoying him. Gonna go help him a lot today, and then we're gonna have lunch together. Come on. Wait, did they give us his name? I don't think they told us his name, right? I, mean, maybe, I guess we technically don't know that's uh, his dad. I kind of, I mean, I could definitely see like he changes his name slightly just to, you know, rid there of any connection. Granted, you would kind of think you'd change your name more than that, but I don't know. Our vessel commemorates the end of the War of the Lions. We celebrate now, but on this day 250 years ago, our bodies to be buried. A lot of that, I thought I should clean things up a little. Hope they can find rest. Hmm. You gotta pay your respects? Didn't even bring flowers. You could learn a thing or two from the governor. But they said those were Mikey's, the flowers, not his. So, this thing. You saying that reminded me. The fact that, you know, Aryan Road was supposed to have died on this day. I think this is like a big fancy tune that, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it, her body wouldn't be in there, but you know what I mean, right? you think it would have, like, a dedication, though. Anything down here? Not really. I mean, maybe. I'm a little spooked to explore it with just Serena, if I'm being completely honest, but... Alright, that, that's cool that they drew, drew attention to the little grave there. Part of me is also, like, it would have been super cool if uh, there was no attention brought whatsoever and it was just, like, pure flavor for you to potentially find. as like, an Easter egg, but... That's a nice scene with the... The governor. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to the other highway. Was there anything else to do on the south one? Yeah, there's some people near the Heimdall entrance. Let's get going. Sure. Gotta be very careful not to run into any monsters though, because uh, Rini Bobini might not be a lava chini for the end of the game. At that rate. Kids told me they wanted to check out the Sergeant Vessel's mask, so I gave him a ride. <laughs> it's Sergeant Vessel, after all. I hope they enjoy that, too. Sister Lala says it's going to be a huge bazaar today. That's going to be so fun. Oh, so you're the Lala children? Thank you for the ride. <laughs> Since I got here for a mask, I gotta go find a su souvenir for Sister Lala. Oh, I'm trying to talk to the kid. Nice. Finally made it to Heimdall. Thanks, old man Walter. Don't see it. You take care of yourself now, okay? Cool. I'm glad the summer festival I was able to begin on time. Yesterday's mission was such a large-scale operation in comparison to any recent undertakings. I hope this marks us an opportunity to cooperate with various parties in the future. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hello there, you're the Ashen Chevalier, right? Can't believe I'm really good to meet you. Thanks, uh, your hard work's much appreciated. Wow, thank you for your kind words. Are you still asleep, lady? Bro, this dog's gonna starve. Woof. Uh, I'm so popular, whatever shall I do? I'm a little confused. Alright, monster away. Monster me baby. Alright, let's go. I mean, you should steal Guy's horse. Just, just a thought. Okay, let's uh, see what we got over here. Whether it's a normal fight or something that's gonna make me suffer. That's... Oh lord, he big.
Oh my god, it's an elephant. Okay, he's not that big. Okay, he's kind of big. Blue Promograss. I didn't know it could bloom all the way out here. A cryptid. It's so it looms larger than anything I've ever seen. Based on my experience beneath the surface, the Promograss should disappear if we defeat that thing. If I do from inside, the military should probably take care of it. Or I could call Valimar and take care of myself. Either way, I can't trouble anyone with this right now. Not with the summer festival in full swing. We've got to rain. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, my frames? Altina, what are you doing here? Alright, Lecter must have told you. Yes, he told me you try and take care of it by yourself, so I should go check up on you. And it appears he was right, hmm? Well, I was thinking that maybe the 4th Armored Division could take care of it. Or I could call upon Valimar instead. Okay, I'm sorry. If I'm gonna do something, I'll ask the others for help. That's what you want to hear, right? Yes, in that case, I will accompany you too. You left in the dark about the secret agents. Or you left us in the dark? Ash was there, and if you never found out... Message received loud and clear. Anyway, next time I go to the highway or underground, I'll let Class 7 know both new and old. If we're going to defeat the crypt, then we need to prepare accordingly. Let's start making some calls. The Cryptid Keeper? But now add members from both the old and new class when you go to the highway or underground. However, Rena will be alone in the city and at the field exercise camp, so be careful! If you decide to challenge the Cryptid near the highway, Rena and Altina both need to be in your party. Alright, well, she was going to be in there regardless, so haha. -ha. Alright. So we're going to try and roll our best squad. Or the squad that I think might be the best. So that means... Elliot... Kurt, you get to stay. It's finally Kurt's time to shine. I think we put... I mean, I, we just used Sarah, man. I, I get, I'm getting a little tired of using Sarah, if I'm being honest. We've been using her for the whole damn game. We could bring in Laura. Laura's already equipped. And kind of okay. Or we could just try Ash. You know what? I don't think Ash is like technically that great, but you're already set up. I'm trying to think how we want to do this. Because we probably... Ash is a tank. Kurt and Reen for damage. Elliot support. And then we'll put the Euster. And Altina in the back line. I just like, I feel like I've been using Sarah for like half the damn game at this point. The changes we want to make. Let's pause and do this. Alright, we're back and ready to kill some dang elephants. Strictly in a fictional sense. So, Ash is, you know, back on his shit again. Kurt, also back on his shit again. Elliot, I mean, you know, he's here. Yusus, Altina, they're looking like that. They're there to cast spells, maybe. Probably not, hopefully. Oh yeah, we should, uh... We have BP. There! Wide open! Dude, we have no BP. Sit, yeah, it's down. probably... Keep it up. My turn. Probably would be a good idea <laughs> to yeah, acquire Let's go. the B pizzle real quick. There! It's mine! It's my turn! Okay, uh... Let's fall back! Keep moving. Let's run four. I mean, let's mainly may as well make sure we get five. We crit pretty Ooh, often. Yeah. This one's strong. Be also, now. Milliam, huh. my turn. why are you talking? It's down. It's mine. I got this. Let's bounce. Later, suckers. I mean, not like, I'm not saying you can't talk, but like, you're not here right now. I mean, I guess you kind of are here. <laughs> I guess it's in theory, the entire squad's behind us, but... Okay, I would prefer Ash having more mana. They did say if we go back to the field exercise camp, it's just green, so I'm guessing that wouldn't refill all your mana or nothing. And plus, I don't want to walk all the way back, so let's go. Elephant away! Size of that thing, let's be incredibly strong. Should I challenge it in a group with Altina? Absolutely. Alright, let's do this. This is stupid. It has to be at least 30 arc. Hmm, kind of looks like a small mountain. It's the bro squad plus Altina. Maybe we should use a Panzer Soldat. Let's see. I can call upon Valimar. We can take it on with the might of uh, Class 7, both new and old. There's no need. 
Uh, okay, it is Aurelia. What's up? A principal Toa? What are you... I heard you were going to do something interesting. I brought Hershel with me too. I shall support you against this beast. Alright, sorry Kurt, you're off the team. I think this is kind of foolish to be honest, but I'll do my best to back you up. Good luck! That's encouraging. And thank you, Principal. Nonsense, it's my job. Okay, so this is our excuse to use Stella's Brave Order again? Okay, so if there's ever going to be a Super Boss, I'm guessing this is it, if they're going to let us use Aurelia. Let's begin the operation to subdue this gigantic cryptid. The Wars Military Academy at Class 7, move out! Well, the problem with Aurelia is I can't give her accessories, and that's like actually a this huge one's strong. problem. Be careful! Because I mean, <laughs> even with her being OP as shit, not today. It's my turn. Um, accessories Forma, quite fucking I important. Formation. <sighs> Spirit unit. Let's go. You don't actually have to get up in that ass just yet. I've gotten so used to telling Reen to immediately not run the fuck watch. away. <laughs> Okay, the faint's pretty annoying. I got this. You don't actually have that much HP, which scares me. Weren't you supposed to have Chrono Drive? Did I unequip it? Maybe I did. All right, uh, run away. That was foolish. Okay, I really Let's need go. you to like not do that. All right, just take me out. Not in my watch. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, take it's me out. I need a better start than that. Not in my watch. Are you okay? Thanks. For real. Let's go. Sit. It's down. Keep it up. No. Sorry. Okay. Everyone. Well, also, we're gonna need anti faint. If that faints as well, then there's spirit unification. I can still fight. Arcane. Gale. Not really that much damage, in all honesty. I was expecting Sorry, more. Everyone. I guess your strength was unbuffed, was it? Leave it to me. I'll, it. I'll see to this. It's my turn. Yeah. All right. Um. Seize victory. No more rise. What's this do again? Oh, it gets damage. Oh, it's the super. Uh... Well, Elliot, you don't really need to be here anymore. Then, in that case, I'm sorry. I mean, I think Elliot's still good for auto tier, but that definitely puts a damper on it. Let's go. I shall go. I'm not gonna say you deserve that. But... No My more rise. I mean, honestly, your HP is like very tiny. Stealth mode activate. Yes. You must have like an Omega tier. Like maybe you're not actually that hard. Or you have like a second phase. Maybe this is just like an excuse to use these characters again. After all, I don't know. Show me you can win. I mean, this is gonna be like 40k. Yeah, and it lowered all our stats. Well done. Now. Could we? There's no way. Could we? <laughs> maybe, maybe we could. <laughs> Can I really solo this shit? Arcus activate. <laughs> yeah. Very well. Aurelia really can't solo this, can she? Can she? Arcus activate. Yes. <laughs> Strike. I'll assist. Yeah. Thanks. Now. Charging. Yeah! My thing. I mean, she might. Well done. I'll save you. You have Foolish. my thanks. But I mean, this fight seems pretty easy. We just need some anti faint. Foolish! I'll handle this. Huh? I'm up! I mean, he's already half dead. <laughs> and we haven't done anything. We've, we've done exactly like one attack. Seize victory! No It's my rise. turn! Arcus, activate! How's this? Ha! Stay strapped, Aurelio. <laughs> Stay strapped. Damn you! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Strength depleted. I'm sorry. It's my turn. Now, if you could give yourself just like a little, just a little itsy bitsy CP. Just a little. Well, just a little, maybe just a little, uh, snack on a tiny little bit of soda. How's this? It was well prepared. And that did 
That gave her 60 CP for some reason? I don't know. Leave it to it's me. not even like a big heal. Okay, so you're just like a joke fight. We just need some anti uh faint. Orcus, activate! I mean that's pretty cool. How could this be? The problem is uh I was complacent. Ebon Crest exists. So you'll you'll lose next time. He like even quit doing the faint attack as soon as everyone died and I gave up. We'll, we'll definitely try and challenge. I, mean, I think we should maybe the challenge should be not using Aurelia. Now if we're about to die and uh, she gets switched in and she just happens to kill the boss, uh, well that sure would suck. Also our tactics, yeah, definitely want this changed up. We want like everyone far away from Ash. Can I give you better shoes? Do you have more movement? I suppose that's better. But oh yeah, you definitely need anti-faint. The gladiator belt's nice, but not being stunned forever is more important. Same with you, as much as I loathe to admit it. Don't I have, like, a red emblem on one of you guys? Yeah. Laura's been hoarding all my good shit. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Oh, I'm so mad. I mean, she's just been over there. I'm fighting for my damn life down in the dungeon. And I can't find it. Because nothing is sorted normally in this game. And then you could also use it. I think I have another red one. Okay, red. And one. Anything else you want to change? We could give you Oberon, but I like you having Chrono Drive and Chrono Break. I didn't really check to see what his uh, statuses were. I know Aurelia sat him down, but I don't know if that was just because she got lucky or... Be on guard. Oh, it's strong. so we super win. <laughs> Gotcha! Are you okay? Thanks! Did you just defense down? Not today! How? I'm up! How the hell did you... Elliot, what the fuck are you made of? <sighs> Spirit unit, let's go! My man just broke the damn rules of the video game. We got a guard break and a zero art right off the bat. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Rope. I almost want to restart because this is like unfair. I got this. Seize victory! No rise! Now, here's dessert! Wait, can we kill you That's before you, you ever get to go? Being careless. I mean, probably not, yeah. but like, what if we Too did? Slow. Very well. What if you just fucking died? Real talk. It's two turns. This is two turns. Seize victory! No rise! My turn! So none of your attacks. Okay, this will let you go again. Ah, uh, there! It's mine! My turn! Elliot says stay strapped. Arcus, activate! Okay, link with the Kurt. It's down! It's mine! There! My turn! Then link back up. Go for the uh, bip -bip -bop. There! An opening! Let's go! This is when he one-shots me. Roll! Helix strike! Now! It's mine! I mean he could if he instant goes. My turn. Okay, he still has to enhance. I'm we're gonna fucking play. We're gonna be risky for the biscuit here. And I'm gonna wait for his enhance before we have encrust. Now Here's dessert. That's oh, what you unfortunately, get for it's going to be the Elliot follow-up. Yeah, keep it up. Bro, My Elliot turn. just did 2K damage, man. Elliot's out here living his damn best life. 
We all know old, old CS2 Elliot, Mr. I'm never going to get a weapon upgrade because uh, someone hates him. I mean, that's not true. I just thought it was really funny that Elliot never got a weapon upgrade. Can I... I think we're just going to have to let that CP go to waste because I don't really want to ult with anyone. Arcus, activate! But you're not enhancing? <laughs> not today! Are you okay? That's actually Thanks, more it. dangerous than if you had enhanced. Now! I mean, God, it feels so cheap, but like, I think we'll actually die if I don't do this. I have information! Yeah! <laughs> it's so fucking broken. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I mean, I hope they're like, I mean, I, I do kind of like the idea of the fight being like super hard and. <laughs> You know, them giving you a bunch of OP shit to deal with it? But, like... He doesn't really do anything. Uh, huh? Okay, now we I didn't get to Evan Crest. I'm up! I mean, 60% damage reduction. Can we eat that on the chin? I don't know. Probably. I think we can. I'm not afraid. Or we could just do this. Yeah. I can still fight. Yeah. Now it's mine. I can still fight. The artist, formerly known as Kurt Vander, is logged online. Let's go, Evan Crest. It's my turn. Potion seller, I need a stronger delay than this. Okay, actually canceling him out was kind of bad. Activate. Ha! Well, we got it for Very free, well. so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, we maybe should have just, like, eaten it on the chin after all. Uh, strike my turn. I don't think we can break you. Yeah, we got no stat buffs. Now. That's what you get I do love how like careless. a lot of the attacks you can just never see how much Hits damage down. they do. Too slow. Let's go. That was like what I learned with fucking uh Sarah's stupid attack. Like you can you, you you'll never know how much her jumpy attack does. It's no one knows. I mean you could use like a little little bit of a heal. Yeah! My turn. Is it only the 10k base? You know what? I'll just do this again. I have information. Yeah. And kind of like move over here so you can get heals off better. Or you know what? Rain, you're on your own right now. Arcus, activate. Fear. I'm not afraid. Okay, Kurt, you might be fucking about to be blasted off the damn screen. Cause I could easily see this doing I'm more up. than that. Okay. Sit. Very well. Huh. Not in my watch. I thought you were. It would actually be better if you were with. Uh, Kurt, which I thought you were. Kurt's fine. Kurt's fine. Are you okay? Thanks. My turn. There's never been someone more fine than Kurt. Yeah. Rain, we're gonna move you into the heel, I think. This is nothing. I want you to go after him because I'm pretty sure blade dancing means uh, Kurt Vander will have to retire. Huh. It's my turn. Get back. It's down. Keep it yeah, up. I really should change my links. Here. I Thanks. appreciate it. Yeah. Let's go. You're lucky. Uh -huh. 
Let's you go. don't know how flippin' lucky you uh, are. Ah, my turn. Uh, oh fuck! Strike. That was the end of our high hands. Yeah. Kurt Vander. I have information now. He will impede you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Arcus, activate. Not in my watch. Let's go. And that is magic based. Cool. Green is having like this. big CP issues though. Now, here's dessert. That's what you get for being careless. We it's gotta go. be careful. Too slow. There is a big Very a big well. boy heal coming up. Uh -huh. But that's why Very Kurt well. Vander is so good. Uh -huh. Let's go. He has anti getting fucked by 50% heal technology. Uh -huh. Strike! <laughs> Not today. I'm up. And I would really like to break you. Do I think Kurt Vander can do it? Crimson Slash, now! Keep it up! Not now. if I don't remember to change my freaking links. Seize victory! No yeah. rise! I'm going all in. Good night. Wow, that did my turn. Absolutely nothing. Uh, strike. Like there was ever my any turn. doubt. Like there was ever any doubt. Now, the Kurtster Vander. That's what you get for being careless. Are you like with Elliot? Yeah. Okay, you're not. At least it's real. Oh my it's god. It's my turn. The crits. They're too strong. Seize victory! Noble Let's go. rise! Huh. It's down! It's mine! My turn! Huh. Let's go! Too slow! Oh, because you go. have Zephyr, that's why. I was like, why are you uh -huh. statting them down? My turn! Other than just because you're a freaking gangster. I mean, I really do hope there's like an actual second phase or something that's harder. Uh -huh. There! Keep it up! I lend it! Oh, Kurt and Elliot? Um, Kurt's fallen and Reed's footsteps are becoming friends with the actual god of Zamuria. Thank you. It was a good lesson. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just glad I could help. Yeah, he can help. All right, got it. <laughs> nice. I mean, it was kind of fun. I it was like train a, a even flex, more. I suppose. Stats updated. And Toa's cracked though. Toa, join the join the squad. <laughs> Please. We did it. We did it! You see that? Uh Kurt, I feel like you need to <laughs> cool your own damn line. How perfectly predictable. Honestly, I'm exhausted. Good job, everyone. The Paloma Grass is gone too. Uh Eusis and Elliot. They're like, oh my god, how many fucking cryptids do we have to fight, man? We had to fight every single one in CS2. Now you're dragging me back? Honor of the Intelligence Division and the 4th Armor Divisions. The powers of Class 7, both new and old, are a sight to behold. The party is tonight. You should relax and try and enjoy the festival. Understood. The two of you are instrumental to our success. Thank you for your help. And once Reen and the others head into the uh, wrapped of the investigation, they would return to Heimdall. Thank you, Altina. This is voice dialogue? What? <laughs> Reen's bond events aren't fucking voiced, but this is? You've been supporting me like this for a while now. I mean, it is a cool moment. Like, you know, it's of character growth, I'm assuming, but, you know, Altina tracking him down and everything. <sighs> no thanks are necessary. This is simply my mission. Even so. Though our relationship is a little different from the ones I have with Valimar or the old Class 7, thanks for being both my partner and my student. Uh, of course. Well, that's nice. Man, Altina, they did such a good job with Altina. Uh. Alright, I changed my mind. They did a bad job with Altina. Uh, 
the, the game just won't let me compliment it, man. It's gotta make it weird. Uh, but for the most part, Altina, very good job done with her. Especially like, taking a pretty for forgettable character from CS2 and making her one of the best characters in this game. At least, at the very least, one of the best new characters. Honestly, I'd say she's up there, though, for just overall best character, at least within the context of CS3 alone. Yeah, let's, uh... So, are you here? As you said you went back to the field exercise camp. So, uh... Toa? Toa? To to Toa? I, mean, I guess you'd be in the front, maybe? You say anything, Valimar? Ah, oh, the Summer Festival. I don't call you Toa? Okay, you still say the same thing. Got anything else to say? Talk to you again? Make Mary? To Toa? Toa? You guys are still here? Okay. I was lied to? I mean, where is Toa actually, by the way? Like, normally. Toa, do you exist? Oh, there you- yeah, you were- here? I actually don't remember you being here. Uh, Toa? Oh yeah, yeah, you were here talking to them. I went back home this morning, so I see everybody again. Yeah, okay. So now, I guess we should do... I guess we could head to the Imperial Museum. Or, we could... I remember I did some, back when we got the Lecter thing 45 years ago. It said something about the story would progress after you've done Lecter's thing and five bond, if used five tickets. So if I use some more tickets, would that proc something new as well? Or do I do the Imperial Museum first? Who haven't we seen? Or who would be who would best fit here? Mm, I'm trying to remember who's had good Mishy scenes. Who could be our canon Mister? Our Muse, you passed the Mishy test. I don't know how many because I think we've only used like three or four tickets currently. We'll do two more real quick here. And see if that gives us a little cutscene or something. Mm. You lore is a Mishy fanatic. Yeah, you gotta bring the lorester here. So we can sadly hit her with the, uh... You're a great friend, Lahan. <laughs> Hits us with it. Yep, thanks. That didn't proc anything, and that would have definitely been five tickets. So maybe we do have to do the Imperial Museum thing first. Kind of like an awkward time where I don't know what to do. I don't really think we can start the Imperial Museum stuff. I'm trying to think anywhere that would have. Did we explore all of West Ostia? I think we did, right? Let's get going. You think if we try and go to the Imperial Villa this way? Please, that. This one looks frightening. Who? Please be careful. Who are you? Where was Elisa in here? Now that I think about it. It says she's here. I remember coming here, but did we go over to the side? While we were here, now I think about it. I know we came by here because Ballad's in here. 
But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually go off to the little side passage. Because we got that black record. Did I turn that in, by the way? Yeah, apparently I did. Yeah, I don't think I came over here. Oh, it's Josette! Bravo! How elegant, how beautiful! Yeah, I did not come over here. I say Emperor Dragos is quite fond of this place. I shall follow the example and pray for the tranquility of this country. Oh, Reen. Hello there. Uh, Elisa, Ferris, and Josette? You two know her? Yeah, I have her ship things in the development division sometimes. She's really great, always ready to go wherever we need her. I have her deliver our fresh produce to Riviera Court as well. I wasn't aware that Elisa was a fellow customer, though. I uh, appreciate all the business. Uh, we're not a huge company, so being able to say make quick deliveries is our big selling point. But we've been getting more and more regular customers lately, so I'd say business is going well. Keeping everything running smoothly is a lot of work, but that's better than leaving it to my brothers. Wow, so not only do you make deliveries, you manage the company too? You're so young, yet, you're, yet you own your own business. That's wonderful. And she's the premier first infinite healing boss in the series. She's the reason that we all have to suffer. It's all her fault. No, no, being in charge of a shipping company is nothing compared to what you two do. Both of them are managers, huh? What a coincidence. Pretty amazing when you think about it. Speaking of Josette, that airship you used to the, is from the series RF released a few years ago, right? Have you been to Roar for business negotiations before? Uh, yeah, my brothers took me, the, took me with them back when I was little. The negotiations took forever, so I ended up seeking out to play with the little blonde girl. Uh, wait just a minute. Uh, do you mean... Is Elisa just fucking know everybody from her damn childhood? And she forgot? What? So you are that girl! I knew it! For real? Elisa? What in the hell is this nonsense? Can I- I can't go- I can't go down? Controller! It, what the f Okay, that's- As soon as I hit up, it just goes all the way to the top? It said a few years ago. Back when I... Back when I was little. Okay. Okay, she said the thing about the airship was released a few years ago. Have you ever been to Ruhr when I was little? Okay. So that would have probably been back when they were actually nobility? Yeah, think about it. You do look just like her. How did I not notice before? I suppose it's a small world after all. It's small bullshit. I've known Josette from a young age as well. Wait, what? Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? If... When she used to be nobility? Really? Well, we were a noble family at one point. The Kapua Barony. That, that was a long time ago. They had a close relationship with House Flora. They even came to visit a few times. Josette and I would play together whenever we could. The three of us have all known each other since we were kids. What a crazy coincidence. Also, Reen just standing here, <laughs> listening in. Right? I would have never imagined these three had a connection like that. I guess it must have been thanks to Adios' guidance. The other the three of us are connected by an invisible string. My father was shocked to hear what happened to the Kapua family. He didn't even get the chance to try and aid them. Nonetheless, I hope that Josette and I will be able to keep our friendship strong. I don't know put together this was Elisa from back then. Oh, that was one crazy coincidence. That was me actually pressing it by accident. Hey, if my brothers and I hadn't gotten our act together, we may have never united like this. That said, but so is a small shipping company. We still have a lot to learn, but it looks like hard work really does pay off. It's a small world, after all. I used the delivery service a bunch of times before. They're very flexible, and I can have them ship things without mother knowing. All the bikes in that paint sold at Catapult I sent you were both delivered by Josette herself. Wow, I had no idea. She flew those things all the way to Crossville? Uh, she seriously gets around. Okay, so you all say the same thing? Alright, well that's... I mean, that's a neat connection. I do find it, like, a little ridiculous. The Flora and her, or Ferris and them knowing each other, okay, I buy that. Elisa, it's mainly just because it stinks of the whole Reen and Elisa are actually childhood friends thing from CS2. Uh, just also kind of like a weird thing that's brought up just in like her side bond event. It's not even like a canon event that everyone would see. Like kind of such a, I mean, not really like a big re revelation, but... It does feel like something that should have been, like, I don't know, like, at least acknowledged since then. 
Alright, okay, so we did find something to kill the last few minutes of the video with. Uh, now, what does it say that oh, I completely forgot I never actually talked to Elisa here? I don't know what it says. You can make your own speculations. Uh, where we started the summer festival, kind of. Did I ever go actually out to... I know I came here, but did I go out towards the big ship? Yeah, 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 I do remember. Because you were talking about the tourists, and then I said something about, okay, well, I'm going on. Okay, that just feels like it's been so long ago. I mean, it was like, actually it has been like five or six days, I think, since I recorded that video. Because I didn't record for a few days, and then we've been doing the Summer Festival for two full recording days, basically. But we're, I'm not going to say the end is near, because there's still the possibility that dialogue for NBCs could update, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys. I might actually, in between video, well, I might do like a... No, I'm just going to go to the Imperial Museum at the start of the next video. I was thinking I could do some Bond events, but I don't want to accidentally progress the story or something. But we'll see. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.